What's going on? Today we're going to talk about how to start a multi-million dollar business from home within five years. This is an advanced tactic. We're going to go through some of the procedures, some of the things you need to do to set this up. And once again, this is for seasoned online entrepreneurs. This is not something that you can do today. This isn't something that's going to happen in the first year or your second year or even your third year. This is a process that is based upon your business acumen and I'm going to give you the steps on what you need to do to set it up. So three, four, five, six, seven years from now, you could be making a million dollars from home. So with that, let's get into it. This video was brought to you by money, income and profit dot com where your real financial education begins. The first thing you need to do is have a business that is already set up and making money. Before we even go into some of the steps, we're going to make some assumptions that you are an online entrepreneur. You're making at least five to ten thousand dollars per month. And this is your only source of income. You don't have a job. You work from home. These are the assumptions that we're making. What do you have to do? What's the first thing you have to do after establishing a full time income as an online business person? One of the reasons that I said you need to be at five to $10,000 per month is if you're at 20, 30, 40, 50, the way that you're doing it, more than likely you're going to get stuck. Typically what I've observed is many people will reach a certain level and they'll get stuck. And the fundamental problem is they built their business incorrectly to make a million dollars. Once again, your business framework is the container which your revenue will come from. If you do not have a big enough container to hold a million dollars in sales, it's not going to happen. And this is why you need to start laying the groundwork after you've exited your job, you're doing your online business full time. Now, the first thing you need to do is to systemize your business. If you don't have systems, processes in place, it's going to be very hard. If you'll notice that I have templates for my thumbnails. Typically, it's a similar theme. The only thing that changes is a little writing. That's a system. That's a template. The more of these you have in your business, the easier it will become for you to make a million dollars per year. Now, this isn't to be confused with you're taking home a million dollars. You're grossing a million dollars. Depending upon your online spend, depending upon who you are, depending on what industry you're in, you could bring home 100 k after generating a million dollars in sales, or if you're like a seasoned operator and only a few people can do this, you could literally bring home 750, 800,000, or maybe even 900,000 and only have an operational spend of 100K. You are seasoned. This is not something that you can learn primarily from watching YouTube videos because part of what's gonna happen is you have to be in business to learn how to make your business go, meaning that you're going to have certain things that are going to happen in your business model that is not going to happen to anyone else who's not at that level and there's nowhere for you to look for an answer or find an answer so you're just going to have to level up and get yourself around entrepreneurs who have been past this point and they can like say oh when this happens this is what you do and when this happens this is what you do the second thing you need to do you're going to need staff now here's the good news you can get by with as little as two or three up to maybe 25 depending once again on what your online business is if you're selling a physical product this is going to be a challenge now i know there's amazon fba where you ship the product to the warehouse well here's another little problem with that i've seen a lot of these entrepreneurs shipping from their house let's go back to capacity if your garage can only hold so much product and you can only ship so much product guess what that's called a bottleneck. You've maxed out your capacity for doing those things. So you will need a larger warehouse to make more money. And I've seen many people, they've twisted, they've talked, they've actually tried to hit me up. And once again, if we don't have a business relationship, more than likely if you hit me up or email me or contact me, I'm not going to answer because I already know how these things are going to go. So the third thing you have to do is have to spend money in advance of the returns. And this is a very hard part. You're going to be spending sometimes thousands to hundreds of thousands or in a few cases of a super large businesses, you may spend a million before you get any money back. 
Now, what would this money be spent on? Branding, marketing, and leads. Many people don't even know what those things are. Uh, everyone thinks that they can create uh, an online personal brand where you are the brand, where what you put out is the product. Well, that's only gonna work for a little while because I've had this conversation before and I've told a few people, what brands are starting to do is create their own influencers. So they are not going to need these people who are asking 250 for a 30 second video or $350 for a video. They're not going to need these people. And this is why many of those folks who are in those positions realize things are going to change. And that's why they're launching their own lines. If you want to make money online, a million dollars a year or more, you need a service, you need a product. Yes, there will be the exceptional people who will make a million dollars off their face. But how many of those people do you personally know? Knowing someone on the internet or knowing of their gram or knowing of their YouTube, that doesn't count. How many of those people you can like knock on their door, pick up the phone, call them and actually talk to them? And I will surmise that it's very few because once again, these people are skittish. They know the position that they operate in. They know everybody's coming for them. They know people want to eat their lunch. So they're very selective on who they will allow in their inner circle. And if you're in their inner circle, you're going to know all of their secrets, all of their failures. I personally know someone that spent $1.2 million on Facebook ads last year and lost a lot of money. They didn't go out of business, but it was close. It was real close because they made a few a wrong assumptions about the marketplace and then Facebook changed the way that the ads were delivered and that almost sunk them. I mean, it was crazy what was happening. And once again, when you're trying to create this million dollar business from home, you're going to work a lot. You're not going to have quote this easy four hour or maybe three hour work day. It's not going to happen. Uh, typically when you've got your business seasoned, mature, you can have a normal work schedule, but before then, no, you're going to be working kind of crazy hours. You're going to be doing stuff. You're going to be talking to stuff. Uh, there are many YouTubers who have been very successful in the last year. And one recently came up and talked about what he was going through and people didn't know it. He's like, literally for a year, I did not have a day off. And that's how I knew he was real. And, you know, just looking at his, some of his output, looking at some of the things he was going through. And we just look, I need to take a break. I've literally worked for one year and I've not had a day off. This is what happens. And he's not making a million dollars. He's probably making 150 ish, if that, because his business model is him. And it's very hard to scale a personal brand. You can scale a econ product. You can scale a course. You can scale a service. You can even scale a book. But to scale you becomes very hard because there's so much noise out there. Everybody's trying to be a personal brand. Everyone's like uh, this. I forget. I don't even know her name, but apparently she scammed a lot of people. The problem is that the market is becoming sophisticated. You have these people out here who are being studied, people are doing Google searches, people are doxing them, and they're coming to the truth that, oh, this person really didn't do it the way that they told us that they're doing it. This is why I consistently said over the years, you're looking at a three to five year journey. And that's if you're doing everything correctly. If you're making mistakes, uh, my first million dollar business gross, but I didn't take that home. I didn't even take on my 100K. I made so many mistakes. And this is going to be common when you come away from the gram and you come away from YouTube and you come away from Facebook and you start going to these events. You start talking to people. Uh, my boy Tyron Spear, he was just literally blown away. He's hanging out with these fancy people, rappers and stuff. And he's finding out that he is balling out of control compared to what the money they're making. Having a lot of followers, having a lot of subscribers does not equate to millions of dollars. I, I had to pause for that because there's these conversations that people like uh, someone actually tried to flex on me. It was like, well, you only get uh, two point something views per video. And then I actually screenshotted my revenue and he tried to clap back on it. But see, I know he's living in his basement. He gets a lot of views, but these folks are not spending money, which brings me to my next point. If you are creating a vanity business where you're the product, you're doing these crazy things, you're putting this stuff out there, typically 
pranks, um, people who do polit politics, these don't really make a lot of monies unless you reach the upper echelons. So once again, coming down to a service, coming down to a physical product, coming down to a digital product, this is going to be your surest path to get to that point because it's very hard to leverage, I'm going to call banal information, certain topics like uh, race, that's very hard to make money off of, certain kind of politics, it used to be lucrative, but it's really been tamped down. Um, certain things that just don't generate money because when you consume comedy or you consume commentary, how does that make your life physically or fiscally better? That's the question. My channel is very small by many YouTuber standards, but I make more money than 90% of them because I have products, I have services. And once again, to get to a million dollars a year, you got to divorce yourself up. You're going to do it quick or you're going to buy a bunch of Facebook ads or you're going to buy a bunch of YouTube ads. That boat has sailed. Something else too. If you have a YouTube channel and you're buying ads and you're not properly supporting your channel, buying ads and getting a lot of views just through AdWords could literally kill your channel. And a lot of people don't know this. Uh, some people that you, if I mention a name, you would know they're like, yeah, my channel like almost died because I was buying all these ads. Ty Lopez, he actually put that out there. One of the things that happens when building this million dollar business is you can't be selfish. If you're like, I'm going to do this and I'm make a million bucks, more than likely you won't. But if you say, look, I'm going to create some good products because I want to help people. I want to make their lives better. I want to have them doing things that they never did before. I want to give them more confidence. When you start to think of how can I serve this audience better than it's ever been served? Or how can I actually help these people get money in their pocket? Because one of the reasons, much to my haters dismay and the distractors dismay and all of the people, and you go ahead and Google me, you will not find a lot of bad reviews about me. You just won't because there's one on Reddit, go ahead and check it out. And people like just wouldn't buy, fall for it because it's like, yeah, he's a hustler. Yeah, but his information is gold. Even my haters hate that. And this creates another situation because one of the reasons that I've been here for so long is I've helped thousands of people, maybe tens of thousands, I really don't know, but I know I've helped people make millions of dollars. I want you to say, think about that. This channel has helped people make millions of dollars. So we're going to get to another part. If you want to make a million, you need to create a product or service to help people make money or solve weight loss issues or solve beauty issues or solve something. It's got to solve a pain point. If you're like, I'm going to make a YouTube videos that are comedy or commentary and you don't have that perfect face. There's a guy that his channel is older than mine. He's brilliant in my opinion, but he doesn't have the look. And that's why he just hasn't gone to the next level. If you have the look, you can play the personal brand game or there's something quirky about you. There's yeah, that'll work. But once again, most of us are just normal people. And for normal people, you need to serve other normal people at a high capacity. Now, that's just a framework because there's a million and one ways to make money online. You can make money selling post-it stamps. You can make money selling dolls. You can make money selling sex dolls. You can make money selling weed paraffin. There's so many ways. So once again, depend upon what you're selling, then you may have to break off into a subcategory of people who sell that stuff. Because one of my challenges is I do YouTube very differently than most other people do YouTube. And there's not a lot of people that I can talk to. And the people who are really educated on YouTube, we tend to disagree. I personally believe that YouTube has an algorithm for each channel. Many people's like, no, it's general. But once again, what is Google? The king of machine learning, the king of AI. It would not be that hard. It's like, hey, here's a little bit of code. You monitor this channel. And based upon what this channel does, you will create different outcomes. So that's the pathway. That's just an overview. It can be done thanks to the internet. It can be done thanks to the leveraging of Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, podcast. But you're gonna need one of those anchors typically because there are many blogs out there that get a lot of traffic. They're doing things good, but typically they're older and established. Uh, if someone can point me in the direction of a brand new blog that's getting a million hits per month that's not connected to a celebrity, please point me in that direction. 
where we're going and what's happening is you're going to have to create real businesses. The eyeball game, the numbers games, the subscribers game, that's starting to pale for comparison. What you're going to have to do is actually perform at a high level to create the things that you need to get rich. You can do it. At no point in history has it been this easy, and I say easy, and I have to qualify that, because going back to the days of the kings, the court, and the peasants, you were a peasant, you were gonna always be a peasant. There was no upward mobility, there was no YouTube, there was no internet, there was no, you just could not literally change your social position in relatively three to seven years. You just couldn't do it, it wasn't available. So while it's still available, you need to get busy. Now what's your first step? You should become very clear on what you wanna do. Your second step, you should be very clear on who you wanna serve. My business model has morphed again. I am going out serving people who want to start legitimate businesses. I am not trying to serve someone who wants to like, hey, Glenda, how can I spend 200 bucks and get like $3,000 per month? That person is just ridiculous. This person isn't real. This person's living a fancy life and more than likely smoking a lot of weed. But someone who's like, hey, Glenda, I make 50, I make 100K a year. I want to make some extra money. What can I do? Well, you, my good friend, can start a side business Get your five checking accounts, get your budget, start making more money, manage your money very well, and then you'll be on your way. Because here's something else that you got to understand. The ability for you to go from absolutely no money, living on the streets without any personal resources, that ship is sailing. It's going to be very hard for you to get in this game with no money. I'm just going to tell you the truth because there are many people who will not tell you this because they need you to believe. They need you to be indoctrinated that you can come from absolutely nothing. And it's just not true. And I'm sorry, but you're going to have to at least get your personal life together first before you actually start doing this online business. Because one of the things that will be in investing yourself is called the money frame. There are eight elements to making money that many people don't even think about. I had to think about this for like a month to put it together because what happens is, and there's a girl, she actually came from nothing. I think she has four or five kids. She was married. She put together this Facebook thing. She used Facebook ads and she legitimately made $2 million in one year. And when Facebook changed the game, she got divorced and she went back down. And part of that is the money frame because if you do not expand the money frame in all quadrants at the same time, what's gonna happen is, let's say you escalate your income, right? Well, what's gonna happen when things go bad is you're gonna come back to your original frame because you haven't pushed out on the other edges. And this is common throughout society. So this is just something I wanted to put in your ear, make you aware. And also, be sure to check out this playlist. It's going to help you make money for free. And this is the only free stuff I have. I don't have any free books. I don't have any free courses. The YouTube videos and the live streams are the free stuff. So respect that. And I won't talk about you or potentially put a monkey, send you a monkey an email. For people who are well positioned and qualified to start this journey, I've got a few links before, below. And this will help you begin that journey. Because another thing that's going to be very hard, and some of you can do it, but most people can't. You're not going to be able to figure this out yourself. I personally got stuck until I started going to conferences and I joined the mastermind. Essentially, I got around people who were smarter than me and I had to spend money to do both. So if you think that you're going to be able, you could probably get to 5K free information, maybe even 10 on free information. If you're doing uh, eBay, you're doing Amazon, something like that. But do you get to 100 figures per month? not going to happen off of free information because for you to get to those hundred figures, you're going to have to have a team. And for you to have a team, you're going to have to learn how to hire and you're going to have to learn how to manage. And that's something that, you know, people talk about, but when I'm in these forums and people ask these questions and I give them my answers, it's totally different than what these other people who are, who are deep in the employee mindset. It's a different groove. It's a different mindset. So if you want to, later on this year, I'm going to have a special program. It's going to be something digital, but this will come after I flesh out moneyincomeandprofit.com. So with that, go below, get on the email list as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Thank you.